My name is Melt Escabel, and I grew up in Burley, Idaho, in Idaho politics. I have first-hand knowledge of payoffs from corruption since the mid-1960s, since my family moved here and helped establish the Civil Rights Commission, along with organizing and educating the minority workers here in our area. Cajun County is the most corrupt county in our state due to the nepotism and greed. What has taken place here in the state of Idaho, dealing with the judicial branch, is that the judicial branch has usurped the legislative branch and does whatever it pleases. Even when it goes against a state statute passed by the legislators or the state constitution or our great United States Constitution. Throughout our state, the only constitutional oath is a judge known as a senior judge appointed by the Supreme Court justices after returning from retirement. After the legislation was passed in 2000, the Supreme Court of Idaho went rogue and changed the official oath passed by legislation to a corporate loyalty oath as shown here in the documents that we'll present forward. Here's the Secretary of State official certified copy of such documents that you will also see passed by the legislation which shows that all judgments by senior judges from 2001 to 2011 should be null and void. What would the people do in the state of Idaho dealing with these fraudulent foreclosures, these civil and criminal cases do, if they knew that there was a remedy by just coming back and claiming that remedy with the state judicial once it's corrected? I've personally experienced the corruption within the state judicial system and have been convicted due to the corruption within the judges as well as the prosecutors here throughout the state of Idaho by them denying the jury to actually see the statutes and the evidence that protected me in each case due to the interpretive rulemaking of the Idaho Administrative Procedure Act. We the people have a need for revolution back to a republic form of government which protects our private property and our civil liberties. Idaho ranks in the top 10 for corruption by the state integrity investigation, number one in incarceration per capita. We live in a police state here in Idaho. Our story must be told and the corruption within the Idaho judiciary must be stopped. And all parties should be charged with crimes against humanity's right to be free. The real criminals are the corrupt officers of the court and the elected officers who pretend it's okay because the bottom line is the source of income which is stolen from innocent victims of the system to create wealth for the individual and the corporate capacity of the municipalities. This is my story and I ask you to help. Spread the truth because Idaho the judiciary is corrupt.